Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ona Christie, and I'm here today with a message from Raven Spirit. And this is a message that is really geared towards this galactic year of the yellow electric seed. And that's from the Dream Spell calendar. If you're not familiar with that, go check out my video on it from last year. This is last year's calendar. And this is a calendar system that is designed to get us more in sync with the natural cycles and flow of time. Um, so that the galactic year of 2021 to 2022 just started on July, I guess July 26th would have been the beginning. And that coincides with the beginning of the Lionsgate portal, which at this time we're still in. It's going to be wrapping up around um, August 12th. And so during the first week of this entire Lionsgate period, I kept getting ravens coming in. Um, just people telling me about their raven experiences, ravens popping up everywhere, ravens and crows, as well as a reading that I did for my Patreon members, um, it just came up just full of ravens. And then it came to me that raven was really presenting himself as the totem for this year of the yellow electric seed. I, I'm putting my painting from my spirit animal cards, the raven card, up here just as... Uh, to have that energy there. And so I decided to sit down and tune into Raven and see what Raven wants to tell us about this year to help us have as aligned a year as possible. And so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to be sharing that message in just a second. But before I do, I want to just kind of talk a little bit about the, um, the meaning of raven itself with the symbol symbolism behind the raven totem. And if you're really interested in delving deep into this topic, I will leave the link to my raven and crow video below and you can check that out. But just as a really short introduction to raven energy, the, the best place that I have found that it has been in the Shaman Wisdom cards. It's a, a deck by uh, Leda Richardson. And so I thought I'd start by reading you that description. And her card is number 17, the Raven card. And this is um, part of what she says about this. Uh, Raven says, I am the message and the messenger, the bridge between two worlds. I screech my arrival as I jump into your day. It is no secret when I come, I clearly let you know exactly where things stand. When I am present, you know that your future is changing before your eyes. This is a time of transformation. You will traverse new spheres of understanding. Expect the unexpected. Open your heart to receive great plenty. It is insufficient to desire it alone. As your connection between two realms, I support you in balancing everyday reality with spiritual purpose. Get past the face value of things. They are not always what they seem. I am your wake up call. Oh my gosh. Okay. So even before the message that I channeled, this is just so spot on for this year. So, I mean, she speaks about so many things that it feels to me are really going to be coming up front and center in this coming year. And uh, a lot of it has to do with polarity, right? Being the bridge between two worlds and, um, you know, the connection between two realms. Well, that is something that light workers are being called to do. We're being called to bring spirit onto earth, right? And to assist in that process. And, you know, also to assist in this great change that's happening. And, I've had just a lot of downloads about this coming here being a big, big, big year of change. And what I love about this little write-up of hers is, first of all, to expect the unexpected. It really, Raven invites us to go with the flow. If you think of the way the ravens play in the wind and they can play in the storm winds and really actually have fun with it. So a couple other meanings of Raven is fun and play and also adaptability, right? So this may be a year that we're really being asked to be adaptable and to really go with the flow in a way that maybe we haven't even 
done before, right? Um, it's going to call that out of us. All right, so now here is the message that I received upon tuning into Raven Spirit and asking specifically about what Raven's message for us for 2021 through to the, um, the middle of 2022. And this is the year of the yellow electric seed. Lie not as the crow, but as the raven. Zig and zag with the wind. Do not be dismayed at apparent dead ends, but know that the path is open for you. It is simply not a linear one. Keep moving, roll with the currents. The thunderstorm creates updrafts for you, but you must be fearless to ride them. Lock your GPS on the location of the sun and you will always have your bearings. The storm is here to revive you. Do not be afraid of it, but exult in it, in the power, the mounting energy, the great blasts of air and the blinding flashes of light. Its power is to cleanse, to release and to replenish the earth. Some will be beaten by the storm. Some will take shelter and weather it out, but you dear ones are called forth to ride into it, to ride the winds exult in the lightning and thunder and bear witness to the transformative power of change. Expect miracles because you are a miracle. The storm will strengthen you. Go forth. Wow. And this is really speaking to those light workers who are really awake on this planet right now, who have really had <laughs> preparations, like have done preparations. And a lot of us have had deep awakening experiences. We've had our dark nights of the soul. We've been trained in whatever ways, right, for the work that we're to do, our purpose work. This is really talking to them. There are others who for whom these storms are really going to be either beginning or accelerating the awakening process, okay? And so if, if you are newly, newly, newly awakened, um, you could belong into either one of these categories or both, right? And, and I think for all of us, we're going to be also probably a bit of both, right? Here to weather the storm, right? Um, uh, my feeling is that, you know, if you're watching this, you're likely going to be either weathering it out or really exalting in this year. And um, as I mentioned in my, my Lion's Gate video, that this may be the year for a lot of us for the abundance to start to flow, for really stepping into our purpose and having fun with that, you know, but like, it, it, it may be a very challenging year in some ways, too. So um, just the, the, I do want to say something about expectation because this came up in both of these. First of all, a uh, latest card, the number 17, the, the Raven card with expecting the unexpected and also in my reading, expect miracles. Okay, so this theme of expectation, I think is so super important because we're coming into this time where we are creatively charged. We just received all these creative energies this the solar charge from the lion's gate opening up and and you know the veil thinning and our expectations are going to be manifesting like like they never have in history before so whatever expectation you're holding it's going to be really really instrumental in how everything plays out so it's super important even if we're anticipating you know, big changes to happen, maybe some challenges. Um, the um, I, I really encourage you to think about, first of all, you know, whatever you're holding in here in terms of outcome, that's what you're going to be manifesting. And that's what we're going to be collectively manifesting. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of forces out there, TV, media, authorities of many kinds that are going to want to be having us think in terms of, oh my God, this is a calamity, calamity. this is the end times, this is um, the times of tribulation, it may be, but um, think past that because times of change are always times of tribulation. Change is always going to have some upheaval. Let's think past the time of tribulation and towards what, what all this change is bringing forth. 
there are multiple timelines happening right now. So <laughs> there, there may be certain elements that are really creating something dark. That's what our job is to start really manifesting something light because this is this amazing time. And so the more you can really think about uh, what is the vision for a beautiful world and remember that we're creating that, that even if it's the, the clearing out part of creating, that's part of the creation process is to clear things out. Artists all know that, you know, in order to create a painting, you got to you know, at least even if it's a, a blank canvas, you're destroying that blank whiteness, right? So you've got to like clear stuff out before you, you know, it's as you're creating something new. And that's all that this is. And just to understand that, to understand that miracles, like <laughs> there is so much angelic support for miracles to happen right now. And the more we envision that, we don't have to envision exactly how we're going to get from here to there, but if we can envision you know, what our beauty is in the world that we want to bring in and vision, what is the healing, you know, what's the end result of that healing, you know, everyone on the earth being happy and free, that's amazing, right, uh, the earth being a pristine earth, a pristine planet, that's amazing, and the thing is that one thing that Raven tells us is we don't have to fight to get there, okay, Raven is not a big fighter, He's, he rolls with the flow. He rolls with the currents, right? It's a matter of play. Raven is a beautiful teacher of play, the spirit of play and how the play can, you know, you as you play, things materialize. Raven is magic, okay? So as we move into, you know, this year of the yellow electric seed, consider the magic, the magical quality of this year, of these energies of your own heart and your own mind and your own soul and what your soul wants to bring forward exalt and play in that and you know there may be storm clouds there may be wild gusts of wind it may not be easy but raven can teach us to play our way through that to really roll with the punches and come out on top okay so I hope that you have enjoyed this. And I did mention my Patreon group. If you like weekly readings throughout the year, then consider signing up. I'll leave the link to that below. And I do have prints of my Raven Spirit painting available on my website in case that's calling to you. Have a wonderful, wonderful year of the Yellow Galactic Seed. And remember, you were born to be free.